Welcome to our video on how to add bleeds, crops, and safe areas to successfully create print-ready files in Adobe InDesign. As you can see, I have a business card here, and a couple of areas we need to address is that if we, this file needs this purple area to bleed off the page so that we have area to trim on the paper when we print it. And also, this type is a little close to the edge, so we need to expand our safe area to allow for the trimming in case somehow the, the, the image gets jogged a little bit in the printing process. So the easiest way to do that is to go to File, Document Setup. And here's your 3.5 by 2 business card size. You can change the margins, which I'll show you what that is in a minute, to... 0.125, which is an eighth of an inch, and we'll also add our bleed of 0.125, which is an eighth of an inch, so we'll have a bleed of <clears throat> an eighth of an inch. And we'll say okay to that, and what that did was it added the bleed area, which is this area, so now I can take the area that I need to bleed and pull it out beyond the page. And pull it. So this is going to be my trim off area right here, and I can do the same thing on the second page just by opening this window and there happens to be enough photo so I don't have to expand the photo size, but that'll be my bleed off area. Now the other thing I wanted to address was this type being really close to the edge, and that would be done by changing this margin. And because we can adjust it, I'm going to go to margins and columns. And we like, on business cards, we like a safe zone of about an eighth of an inch on business cards and probably a quarter of an inch on postcards and bigger. Um, you can say OK to that. Now it adjusted my area. And I can move this snap to guides. And now it changed my safe area. It moved it further away from the edge because it was much closer. And now this is in a, in a safer area. The only thing left to do is, is make a print ready PDF. So what we do is go to export the PDF. I like to add the edit the print ready file and then hit save. And then the trick is, is to make it a high quality print. And then go to marks and bleeds, include crop marks so that we know where to trim it. Make sure that your offset on the crop marks is at least an eighth of an inch. And then, because we added the bleed in the job, we can click on Use Document Bleed. But if we didn't, you could easily skip. You could still pull bleed without adding it there. You just change it here, and then when you export, it'll include an extra eighth of an inch around the outside of the page for bleed. So now, when we export it, you will have your finished PDF with your trim mark showing that it's going to cut through your bleed area that you created and that's how you do it. Thank you.